We are in Wickenburg, Arizona, and we are in Vulture City. We will be exploring Vulture City and showing you its history. And as you can see, the SA office is here and the rest of the other buildings that they've been restoring to as close as original and a whole community is putting all their efforts in making this the same city so that all of you can visit. They've been working so hard here in Vulture City for the last, um, last few years, three years, they more. said, or more, to restore this building. And as you can see, the SA office over here, they've been working on restoring this whole structure. You can see that it, what it looked like just over the last few years. Just a few years back, it was almost in total disrepair. And now it's back almost to its full glory. And on the other side of this hill, as you've seen, if you've seen the show Ghost Adventures, if you've seen the recent episode, they've talked about um, the recent activity. There's still mining on the other side of this hill and you can probably hear some motors running and it's they say that it's kind of stirred up some activity paranormal activity here in the city the vulture city and all these structures and one of them is here and the assay office so we'll try doing some evps and see what we can find go ahead We actually did the tour here earlier, and it was um, done by Jay Yates, the famous couple, Jay and Mary Yates, who did the show with Zach and explained everything that was happening here. And it was a wonderful tour that Jay did for us. So he's very thorough. He explains the whole history and how it all started and how they've been working to restore everything here. Let's say this is one of the most active places. He did tell us about a lot of his different experiences, experiences that were definitely not on the show and uh, a lot more detail. Oh, just like uh, before we continue on in this building, let's start here first because I remember he talked about um, this is where they stored some of the gold and people would come in here to try to steal and well, what they don't understand is while they're trying to steal there are people up there who are guarding it with yep. shotguns yep so they would sleep that they would sleep up there at night and if anybody tried to break in they stole and they were trying to steal any of the gold that was stored down inside there I don't know if you can see it, but maybe if I switch to IR, you might be able to see inside there. Nope, you can't. <laughs> nope, it's don't just dark. There either. It's just dark. And since the show, I guess, and um, there are a lot more people visiting Vulture City, which is good. And it can help restore the city. I'm going to take off my glasses because it's gotten dark. But this is where you go up. So this, where is this? Where the where this is the upstairs to where the people guardian. who would stay at night to guard the bullion, the silver and the gold, would sleep with their shotguns, just waiting for somebody to come in. Let me get my uh, millimeter while I'm at it. Okay. And you can, there's another area there. There's actually people out here visiting too, so if you hear some. Voices. Yeah, There's random a, voices are human vo we'll let living you know voices. Uh, they are spirit voices, but right now there's a family outside. As you can see, this place is really dark and it is really cool.
Temperature in here is 89, 88. Yeah, it's very warm today. Oh, what? And well, whoa, that, did you see that oh, peak? Oh, man, at 15. We're standing completely still. I'm and not remember, moving this. there's no electricity in this building unless they turn it on. And the camera is not doing it. No, it's the just camera's, changing. The camera's far away, and it's not doing it. But you can see. Wow. I'll bring the camera closer to it. You can see the numbers didn't, go, didn't change, but... The numbers are changing. The numbers are changing right now as we're standing here. And I just turned this on. It's just jumping. It's And here, cue the goosebumps. Oh, it went to, and it just went to zero. Oh. Oh, I guess there's somebody here. Yep, is there somebody, one of the shotgun guys in here want to come down and touch this thing in my hand, in our hand? Uh, the silver, see the silver stick? I'm, and we need to remind, uh, we need action, I remind, to share. There's also this thing that he said that um, women, there were not a lot of women in this city, in this town. So oh. women were not allowed inside the SA office. If they, if they have reports of women walking into this building and being touched. Um, they said that, and I, on the tour, Jay said that there was only one woman allowed in this building, and she was too... So, so to repair clothing, and no other women were allowed in here. So, and if you can see, our millimeters and now it's not right changing. Back to zero. Interesting. I should probably try turning on the REM pod version of this. So, here's some banging upstairs. It's not Although it is windy. Okay, so just to let you know, there you go again with the... Sometimes... Some... Sometimes that gets stuck. Hearing some creaks and stuff, but that's mostly just the us oh, and, the, the and the building. It's changing again. Now we are here at the hanging tree where it is reported there were at least 18 people that was hanged from this tree. This is an ironwood tree and they said it's well over a hundred years old, probably a lot older. We've heard some stories from uh, the tour about different people. There was one story about a man that was harassing one of the brothel workers and he ended up beating her up so bad that she almost died and everyone in the town came and they they had just beat the beat him so bad almost till he was dead and then somebody would pull out a gun and they said let's uh somebody wanted to shoot him and they're like don't no don't shoot him we're gonna hang him he said, no, I just want to see him bleed and shoots him in the shoulder. Then they drug him over to this tree and they hung him. But like a lot of people and a lot of things that happened back, uh, you know, hundreds of years ago, a lot of superstitions, they did not want to bury this man in this uh, town because they thought it was going to be bad luck or they might stop losing, uh, they'd lose their water source or the gold would disappear. So they decided to bury them on the outskirts of town where I guess they buried a lot of bad guys. They didn't want to uh, uh, soil the land. Let me go in here. Also, this was um, Henry Wickenburg, as they thought he stayed. And this building right here, the structure. This uh, restored building, they say, was the original home of Henry Wickenburg, who the town of Wickenburg, Arizona, was named after, and he, who founded... He didn't stay too long here. Yeah, he founded the Vulture City Mine. You know, he didn't live here that long. Maybe they said maybe a couple of years at the most. And then he built a couple of other houses. But really they continue to use small. this building. It's a weird smell in here. It does have an odd smell. 
Not sure what it is. All right? Yeah. And right next to this is the doctor's office. Right next to the doctor's office is the brothel. Well, we know why the doctor's office is right next to the brothel. It's because he was said that he performed a lot of abortions. There was probably a lot of that unwanted pregnancies that happened back then and they did a lot of abortions I'm sure that went didn't go so well. I wonder where they buried all the this is just a this was not the actual doctor's building but this is just set up as the doctor's building may have looked at the time. This was actually one of the rooms from the brothel which is the building that we're in right now. And there's a lot of reported activity that happens in this building. Another section here is the brothel. We talked about several ladies, which is the, one of them was, which is the madam. Rita. Which her her name is Rita. Her name was Rita. Uh, and she was the head of the uh, ladies of the night. Mm -hmm. And she had she had a lot of um, demands and requests. And she made one of the stores where she made sure that all the male before um, they had to shower or take a bath before but with other ladies they had that no requirement whatsoever they got what they got and I think I believe this might be her her dwelling this was her part of the of the room oh and they did have a license for prostitution 1876 they even had a little kitchen in here which is pretty advanced because they didn't have a lot of resources, but they tried to make uh, a good living space for everyone. And there's this piano, according to Jay, right? Yeah, Jay said that the brothel. That people have had different experiences playing this piano, and sometimes uh, they think that Rita might get upset and. Uh, we and may see what happens. And that. he also said that this is very active in this place. There's money in the bed here. <laughs> People have been throwing money. Should we try? Oh, whoa. All of a sudden I got dizzy. <laughs> right here. Oh. No, I'm not making that up. I'm just dizzy and I'm not hungry. I just had a soda, yep. <laughs> a whole kind of soda. And we had some snack before we started filming. But I'm, oh, wow. What is it? It's Rita. We were talking about her. Oh. Why me? Are you not feeling anything? I'm not at this moment. No? No. Oh, wow, wait a second, wait, whoa, whoa, I'm dizzy. I'm seriously, serious, yeah, I'm like a, I'm, I'm almost feeling like I'm going to faint. <laughs> I need to sit, can I sit in this thing? I don't see why not. I don't know why. Uh, heat? Maybe. I was just standing here and all of a sudden I started feeling dizzy. You don't feel that? No. Affecting you. Maybe they want you to go to work. Get back to work. <laughs> Get back, Get to, back work. to work. I'm work. not working. I don't Get back work to here. your room and go to work. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't work. <laughs> I'm not part of the group. I'm just visiting. 
but it is hot in here. Let me um, get a millimeter. It is 92 in here in this building. So it's definitely hot. I am just dizzy. And I, now I'm feeling nauseous. My upper back is a little bit weird, but... I'm feeling nauseous. We're still here in the brothel. Um, and we have our rim millimeter on right now. It's so hot right now. It's, it's, I'm sweating, it's hot in here. And then, uh, you can see it's 91 inside here. This building. So we should, we should try an EVP. If there are any spirits that go on to communicate here with us, we need to start recording. Is Rita here? Any ladies that would like to say something to us? Any of the other workers that were here before still here? So can you make your presence known to us? Oh, did you hear the tick? I heard a tick. If that was one of you, can you make that sound again? Do you know Jay and Marie? They've been taking care of everything here at Butcher City. Do you want to make a noise so that we know you're here? Can you tell us your name? Or tell us your age? Another tick again. Can not stop in this? Recording. Is Rita here? Um, ladies that would like to say something to us? Oh, can you hear the tick? If that was fun, you can you make that sound again? Do you know Jay and Marie? We've been taking care of everything here at Dr. City. Do you want to make a noise so that we know you're here? Can you tell us your name? Tell us your age. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, now while we're listening to that and while we're doing that the hair on my arm I don't know if you can see it is all of a sudden starts standing up and, and look at this it's peaking this is peaking anything. and it's just sitting there by itself and really I've got my, I've I'm got chills bumps right now, right now. <laughs> my skin oh my gosh and, and I'm sweating it's 90 degrees and look it's back to zero this is a very and active room it was there was definitely some some voices in oh, that. There, is. there was almost every question that was asked, there was some sort of response. And we had a lot of moments where we were just quiet. Sorry about that noise, but oh. But that Amazing. was that was wonderful communication. Thank would you. Uh, would one of you like to come back over to this this box over here with the silver antenna and touch it? Let us know that you're here. So it must be something blowing in the wind in this room. Yeah, I keep hearing noise outside. I think it's just the wind. Oh, well, oh, oh, this, this just peaked. Oh, did you hear that clunk? I heard a loud clunk, but right oh, before, the this is, this just, just peaked. My skin is like all. This just peaked at 25 no and then it came way. back and I'm, I'm literally sitting here, not moving and it's peaking and there's no electricity in this building. They said they don't turn on any electricity. Uh, I mean, they have a camera over there. Um, uh, 
Call yeah, but that's that's so far away. If you I mean, see, they have a that's camera over there. up in the corner, way up there, a little tiny black dot. They have a security camera system here, but this that's runs on low, super low voltage, not enough to even affect anything on this and side. And the camera now. you're holding isn't really affecting. No, anything. because when I bring the camera closer to this, see, I'm right on top of it, and it's not doing a thing. Okay, should so, we do another EBP? You want to do another one in here? Mm -hmm, then we'll move on to the assay office. Okay. So, the, Jay said the ladies don't like us, like anyone touching the piano. The millimeter over here with the REM pod on. Oh, it's so hot in here, it says 92 now. <laughs> and we should be doing an EBP one more time. Sorry, my bed might be making noise, so I'm going to set it here. Recording? Oh, wait a second. Mm, sorry. Recording? We are still in the brothel in Rita's room. And we want to try to make, communicate with Rita again or anyone else that wants to come and make themselves known to us. Can you show oh. us a sign that you're here? That millimeter just went up to 2.6. Uh, 1.6. That's good. Can you say something to us? Can you tell us your name? Maybe my, my hair and <laughs> standing. Can you tell us your name? Are you trying to affect us right now? Do you like it when people try to play the piano? Do you care if I touch your piano? Is this still a brothel? Am I welcome here? Earlier I was getting dizzy. Were you trying to tell me to go back to work? I'm getting a lot of peaks on the millimeter when we ask these questions, so uh, I think yes. Did you guys have a lot of, oh, did you ladies have a lot of customers? Okay, I'm stopping. Recording. We are still in the brothel in Rita's room. Um, I'm trying to communicate with Rita again. Or anyone else who wants to come and make yourself known to us. Can you show us a sign that you're here? That's the one meter with the front of the 2.6. 1.6. Good. Can you say something to us? Can you tell us your name? My hair is standing. Can you tell us your name? Are you trying to affect us right now? Do you like it when people try to play the piano? Do you care if I touch your piano? Is this still a brothel? Am I welcome here? Early, I was getting dizzy. Were you trying to tell me to go back to work? We're getting a lot of peace on the millimeter when we ask these questions, so I think yes. Did you guys have a lot of, oh, did you ladies have a lot of customers? Okay, stop it. told me yes. At one point, I thought that I heard when you asked if, if uh, this was Rita, and I thought I heard, or tell me your name, and I thought I heard it say Rita. I'll have to listen back to it again, mm -hmm. but I really thought that's what I heard. And when I said, are you trying to tell me to go back to work? It said yes. 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 <laughs> and it was, yes. And while we were doing that, you were aiming at it. The, I um, was aiming at it the whole time. You can see it's back to zero right now. Every time we ask the question, it's and trying to communicate. Yep. Okay. Okay, so, so we're going to move on to the next to one. Place. Recording. As you can see, our millimeter is actually going off, changing. We're outside the hanging tree, obviously. I should set this down here. Or you can set it on the tree. They said there was this young man that... Um, remember they hanged him? And 
Well, he was bleeding after they they mobbed him and they hanged him here. Well, after right right after he was shot and mobbed. Look at that changing. Yeah, the millimeter was just changing. It was just a point two a second ago. While we're talking about it, it was going up and down. So let me just point at it for a minute while you talk about it. Are there any people here that were hung from this tree? Any spirits that want to come forth and say, and make a presence known or say something to us? Come over here, touch that box. Touch that little blue wire. Would you like to try an EVP? We should try one? Yeah, we should. Oh, point oh two, wow. 2 .0. Okay, good. We're here, here to communicate. You can come out here and talk to us. Okay. okay so Should we try out an EVP? Yep. Oh, wait a second. Rolling on the digital recorder. We are out here in the hanging tree. It's kind of windy right now. And there's some wind chimes making some noises, so ignore those. We heard that there were 18 people that were hanged in this tree, but only two known stories, documented stories. Would you like to tell us your name? Were you one of the men hung from this tree? Why did they hang you? What did you do? Were you killed by mistake? Did you not do what they said you did? Can you say something to us in this recorder that I'm holding? Okay, stop. Rowing on the digital recorder. We are out here in the hanging tree. Kind of in here right now. I heard that there were 18 people that were hanged in this tree, but only two known stories, documented well, stories. Would you like to tell us your name? Were you one of the men hung from the tree? Why did they hang you? What did you do? That startled me. Did you not do what they said? Look at that. Three. Can you say something to us in this recorder that I'm holding? Okay. Wow. No, they yelled right there. Yeah, there was definitely some, definitely some voices up there. This tree is the real deal. It is. And while we were recording and playing back, we were getting some numbers and look right there, see? It's got a point two right now, point four, point seven, and zero. Point three. Point six, it just keeps popping up and down. We're getting no electricity out here. Seven. Very busy. Oh my. Wow. Okay, I'll we'll stop. We're back in the assay office and we were gonna try to do an EVP, I walked in there and I thought I heard people walking and I said, oh, there's still guests up here. You heard that, right? Yeah, because there's people here visiting today. But the, the gate is closed. You heard people walking. I heard Footsteps. somebody walk across the ceiling. No, I heard walking. I heard what sounded like somebody, like there was a floor all the way across up in here or something and there was walking on the floor, like clear footprint, footsteps. There are people though. Come, yeah. people come. So we're back here at the assay office. Just a few minutes ago, we thought there were people 
guests that were up here on the second floor, but there wasn't. We heard boot steps. So we walked, we were walking over to the building and we got right to here and we hear what sounds like clear as day footsteps coming from like shoes, up, like up on like the second heavy floor. boots or shoes. Like, like, like so that. So we should go walk in here. So right we're going to go check out the shotgun room where it sounded like the footsteps were coming from. I have our gun pod. Do you want to go up there? It's dark up there. Wrong way. Go ahead. Doug. You want me to go first? <laughs> My big back. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's part of uh. Watch your step when you go up because the steps are narrow. And this is really creaky. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to close this box. what I heard walking. You heard the same thing, right? Yeah, I heard it too. Walking, actual boots. Yep, we were up here. I mean, we were not up here. No one was up here. And no one has come down from here since we first heard it. Just wanted to make sure there was no one else up, so we went outside and we waited. Let me set this down here. Movement might have caused that. For the scuffling noise. You have to be really still when you do this because these floors are really creaky. Let me try to do an EVP. Sorry for the noise. Getting my recorder. Oh, look at that. Changing. Yeah. My heart is racing. I don't know why. It's a very steep stairs. Okay. So. Look at that, 2.7, 2.1. There's no electricity in there. Well, it, the, they do, but they don't turn it on. But it's not turned on. Only when they turn it on does there electricity. Okay. It's off grid here. Well, I'm gonna be. We can try some EVP. Okay, we get really quiet. I'm not here. gonna move. I'm trying not to. I'm move. trying to stay totally still. Then. Can I, just go here. Oh, look at that. Jeez. Went up to 0.9. Okay, I'm just point in this general direction. I'll be really I'll be right here. Wait, at okay. least you know. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to wait. Okay, I'm perfectly quiet. Rowing in the digital recorder in the assay office. We're in the upstairs shotgun room. We heard some footsteps earlier. Was there somebody walking around up here? Are you worried somebody's going to steal the gold downstairs? What do you do to the people that try to steal the gold? We're here just to talk with you. We're no, we're no bad guys. We're not here to make harm. We just want to know what you've experienced here. We know women are not allowed in this building. I hope it's not upsetting you that I'm here. That's mean. Do you want people to come into this room? What is your name? They're still digging on the other side of the property. How do you feel about that? What's 
the name of this mine? What's the name of this town? Okay, stopping. Rolling in the digital recorder in the assay office. I just want to know what you've experienced here. We know women are not allowed in this building. I hope it's not upsetting you that I'm here. Yes, I didn't want people to come into this room. What is your name? You're still digging on the other side of the property. How do you feel about that? What's the name of this mine? What's the name of this town? Okay, stop There's a lot of voices there. Definitely I'm gonna have some answers too. Some and answers. this mill meter just and keeps. It's just going up and down, even while we're playing it back. And nobody's going near it. It's just there, by itself. Oh, look, eight point. There's a lot of electromagnetic fields out here. I guess. I don't know. Can someone, can a spirit, come over here, and make your presence known? Come over and touch that silver antenna. Come on, you can do it. Should we try another EVP? Sure. One more time? Or should we go down there? Should we try it down there in the bullion mm -hmm. room? Maybe, oh, maybe, if we're going to have a bullion room, see if there's any gold there. Stop it. We're below the assay office where they actually store the gold. And we have our millimeter down here. Right before we just started recording, it was already changing. There's no electricity. Oh, I'm, there is electricity up there if you want to show that, but they, they, they turn it on. They turn it on and off. So we should try an EVP. We were up there earlier. Right up there. Shotgun ring. Oh, what? Oh. Look. It's Look going it off. I'm not... I wasn't even near that. It, said, it did that when I said shotgun room. My hair is standing up. That was pretty nice. We haven't... We've showed you earlier that it hasn't gone off. It hasn't. No, that's the first time Just, that that's... Um, some milligauss changes, but that's about it. Yeah. But nothing else has changed. That Thank you for time. doing that. Thank you for trying to let us know you're here. We're going to do an e EVP right at the moment. Let me go. Are you ready? Yep. Rolling in the digital recorder. We are in the bottom part of the assay office. Oh, look at that. It's 2.6 right now. Yep. Thank you for touching that and letting us know that you're here. Can you come over and touch that again? Or just talk to us? Let us know you're here. Give us some sort of evidence of your existence, your presence. Were you one of Were you one of the people who tried to steal the gold and died in this room? What did you do to the people that came into this room on your watch? There's lots of noise from the roof, making lots of noises. We heard there was some type of shadow figure that was in this, this building. Do you like showing yourself to people? When people get scared and freaked out a little bit when you show yourself. Like earlier I came in here and got freaked out. Can you tell us your name? 
Okay, stop. Rolling the digital recorder. We are in the bottom part of the assay office. Oh, look at that. 2.6 right now. Thank you for touching that and letting us know that you're here. Can you come over and that again? Or just talk to us? Let us know you're here. Give us some sort of evidence of your resistance, your presence. Were you one of... Were you one of the people who tried to steal the gold and died in this room? What did you do to the people that came to this room while they were watching? There's lots of noise in the room, making lots of noises. We heard there was some type of shadow figure that was in this, this building. Do you like showing yourself to people? And people get scared and freaked out a little bit when you show yourself. Like earlier, I came in here and got freaked out. Can you tell us your name? Can you stop it? So we stop and then we have to go through all that to make sure what they were trying to say. But thank you for trying to talk to us um, and trying to communicate with us. And please stay here. Yep, this is your home. This is your home. We just wanted to communicate and visit. And, um, Oh, okay. Thank you for trying to communicate with us. It's getting tone and EMF. Mm -hmm. And that is our investigation here in Vulture City. We've got so many, so many responses from our EVP, from our EVPs, and we have, we had a lot of EMF readings. And I hope that if you get a chance to come here and visit the, the, visit the mine, you'd be, you'd be so surprised with all the evidence you'd get. Not and to mention that the town itself has been restored and it's just and beautiful. And it is amazing. They've been putting all their efforts, the community that's been trying to build this. And coming here would help support that community to keep it going. And thanks for watching this video. Until next time.